today's video doesn't need an introduction. It's pretty obvious what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, so behind me here is the 1967 split screen. Uh, very kindly, uh, Volkswagen have lent it to us for a month to put into the new showroom here uh, at Oldham. So uh, but I'm going to have a quick walk around it as well, uh, because this is where it all started from, really. This is the T1 uh, version. Uh, this one's a Westphalia conversion. Uh, this here with the, uh, the pop-up uh, roof that's in the center that's in there as well. Uh, I'll have a look around it. Um, I'm sure you'll see some things you think, ah, yes, that's where they got that idea from, or the new, you know, the California's moved on from, from this type of thing and where the camper vans are today and where they started from, uh, back with the, uh, the vehicle behind me here. So let's have a look first, iconic front of the vehicle. So if you don't know your history, uh, the T1, obviously the T series from when they first started this here. And so this particular one is from 1967. Uh, it's a split screen for obvious reasons. That's why they call it a split screen uh, because it's got two individual screens that's on there. Uh, if my history serves correct, I think the reason for that was because at this time they didn't make curved glass. Pop down the comments box below if I'm wrong. Which, as you all know from following this channel, I have been wrong occasionally in the past. But from what I remember is because obviously flat glass was the way that uh, they did it from here. And that iconic V shape uh, down into the front of the vehicle as well. Uh, you might notice a very similar V kind of shape or a circular shape at the bottom on the new ID buzz as well. So uh, that's obviously, you could say that might be coming from this area, but this is where they have it with this V shape that's in, in the front of the vehicles as well. We see it slightly on things like the T6.1 now and the T range before where they've had the V coming into the bottom it's very subtle but quite a similar thing and then the biggest VW badge on the front you've ever seen uh, which is coming on here uh, to show it from the, the brand the VW badge that's on here the same badge in 1967 as it is today that's up on the side of this building that's here uh, have a slightly different designed it maybe you know made these a little bit thinner in certain bits changed colors and things like that uh, but it's still the iconic symbol that it was uh, back in 1967. Now also letting us have this vehicle for a month, Volkswagen very kindly also gave us a full spec sheet of the vehicle as well, which is great because I wouldn't know half of this uh, without actually having a look at that as well. So moving around to the side of the vehicle, uh, driving passenger doors on, on that side, and then we've got these big double opening doors and we move up and into the actual vehicle itself. Uh, I'm not gonna get in this bit, I'm a bit scared to be honest with you that I'll <laughs> damage it, it being as old as it is. As you can see from the woodwork and things that's on the side of it, uh, this vehicle has been restored to us it was uh, it's absolutely amazing um, even down to little things like your uh, curtains that are on the side from one here so you can unclip those and to clip out uh, from the windows that's there and then obviously looking up we've got this fabulous pop top which comes up on just this middle section on here so when you're standing in it gives you that extra height any of you have any classic or older vehicles a lot of the things you might recognize it's on here as well you know this type of canvas material that's up on on the top here as well it's quite right similar to the uh, uh, things like the t6 canvas that was on the uh, on the california not much different to what's on this from 1967 really so things obviously have changed and they've improved over the years some of those designs and from the very early days still come through today i have said we've got the netting on the side here to allow air flow through uh, but to keep those off uh, there's a California straight outside the door we can see the same time kind of meshing on the side of that lots of storage in these things as well so on the actual door side on here as well got lots of places to put things uh, as they uh, move them in and out and you can see these doors go all the way in and out on here and then you've got your windows on the side as well uh, and again with the windows that's on here as well they've got individual pane glass uh, all the way through nice little touch on here so it doesn't bang uh, the door as it comes in and opens up and, and stays that to give you maximum size uh, as you come in so you've got your table on here uh, on here we've just got uh, a tap for water and then on these we've got for your cutlery in the top and then even a fridge as well And then seating in the vehicle, so we've got seating here and here. Uh, now this vehicle is a walkthrough, which basically means you can walk through from here. Uh, there is a little cushion uh, that's on here, but that is removable so that you can still can walk up and down the sides. On the back here we've got our fuel flap. Our air intake into the rear here of the vehicle that comes up on here. If you've seen one of these before, uh, this is basically just a, a mat and then you've got your hard 
base that's underneath here. We've got cupboards on the either side from on here. Uh, this is where the spare wheel is that's in there. You can just see the, the wheel under the, under the canvas that's in there and that slots in there. So it's nice and easy and it's out of the way. We'll show you all this in a second, but just moving down to here and I can close the, the boot. Uh, so rear wheel drive. Uh, so the engine is in the back that's in here. Look how clean this engine is. This is cleaner than a lot of the new vehicles that we get uh, with the engine that's in here. And then we can just shut this compartment here. And that shuts that down uh, from, from on there. Uh, we've got our cool little lights that's on the side of it on here, that's on the back, so your, your indicators, etc. that's on, on there. And then, as I said, we've got the tailgate section up here with the window in. So we'll just pull this down gently, that's on there, and then that closes. It's in there, so we've got the window in the back that's here. You've got your curtains you can pull off across as well. Our big old Volkswagen badge on the back. And then to finish off, we've got the big white bumpers around the back of the vehicle. And finally, as we move around to the side of in here, we've got the wheels that's on the vehicle. So we've got uh, the tyres that are on here and the wheels with the chrome centre caps that's on there. If any of you remember the Gen 6 T6 uh, transporter that came out, similar kind of wheels to that, that had uh, white on the outside on here and then had those big uh, chrome caps that were on the side of the wheel as well. So you can see a lot of things in this vehicle that you might have seen throughout the ages on all the different T variations coming forward as well. And then to the front here, so we've got the, uh, the driver's section that's in here as well so if you look at all these windows like i was saying with the front windows all the glass that's on this vehicle is all straight there's no curved glass on this on this vehicle so you've got your your square cut out from on here you've got your little window at the side here uh, these are really really good for moving around then we've got our wing mirror here on the side of the vehicle uh, and to get in it's coming on here big big door on the side you're sitting over the wheel so you wheel there and you you're sitting on here that's in the vehicle um, I'm not going to get in the back, but I will get in the front. You'll also realise, obviously, this steering wheel is on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Uh, so from in here, you've got your usual pedals on the bottom, so your accelerator, uh, your brake and your clutch that's there, uh, your gear stick, which is on the bottom. We'll show you this in a minute, and the big steering wheel. I'm going to shut the door. I can imagine myself driving down the road, but uh, don't worry, Volkswagen, we haven't taken it down the road. It's been kept securely in the showroom. So your fresh air supply is just up here and you've just got one control. So turn it one way and the air pushes out into the back, turn it that way. And I'm guessing your air comes out from this side and that side. Last couple of things that people are probably going to ask, so I'll clarify them now. So uh, this color, this is soft green lower. Uh, so that's the soft green that's on here. And then it's the pearl white is the upper part of it. This particular vehicle was registered first in the United States. Uh, it was delivered to Ohio in uh, 1967 on the 8th of September. It was imported back into the UK in 1982 uh, and has gone under a full restoration program uh, since then. Uh, that was done by Martin Hall Imports. This model was manufactured on the 18th of June 1967 uh, and arrived in Ohio in the USA on the 8th of September 1967. And then it was imported into the UK in 1982. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, having a look at the T1 split screen uh, behind me. Uh, this is actually the second time I've seen this split screen because we actually had it on loan when we opened Liverpool in 2011. Unfortunately, it wasn't doing California, Chris, at that time because we, we would have done a video on it. But uh, obviously, we had a chance to do it today and to show you how good and how lovely this particular vehicle is behind us. So if you have enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you want to make any comments on there, pop in the comments box below. If you have one of these in the past, uh, have you got one now? Uh, anything like that, pop in there. It'd be great to uh, have a look at those comments as well. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.